This is Life Rewired, the Brain Injury Podcast, for survivors, by survivors. And now your host, Rob and Ashley. Hi, I'm Rob, and this is Life Rewired. Today, I'm so excited. We're doing a show on health and eating habits. I have with me Cheryl Meyer. She is known as Cheryl M. Health Muse. Cheryl you have we talked a little bit before the program and we were discussing some of the ways that you had got into the health scene so tell the viewers how how you got into healthy eating well i was a solopreneur i had my own business i was designing jewelry for all the big um department stores for Kohl's and Macy's and for JCPenney and Amazon. I was flying all over the world. I loved what I did and I was doing everything to be successful except take care of me. And my body started yelling at me. And I have a joke. When it yells at me first, it pokes me in the shoulder. Then I get the NCIS slap. And finally, if I have not been paying attention, the two by four comes down. So one morning I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed. Everything in my body hurt, everything, every muscle, every joint. So I waited four days thinking I had a really bad flu, wasn't the flu. I started getting tested at my doctor's office and I went through four full rounds of tests and she called me one good news. There's nothing wrong with you. I said, that's ludicrous because I can't function. So something's wrong. And I was really lucky because I'd had a staff with me for a long time. I turned my business over to them and I dug in without a clue what I was even looking for. And I swear I had an angel's hand on my back because I dropped into what's known as the functional medical community, which are doctors that went through conventional medical training at medical schools got sick and couldn't help themselves or had a loved one get sick that couldn't help themselves. And so they went for the additional training in functional medicine. And the big difference is number one, they still can give you pharmaceuticals, but they don't start there. They have a holistic group of things that they want to try first. And then they don't look at one body system. If you have diabetes, they're not only looking at your blood sugar, they know that everything going on in your body impacts everything in your body. Mm. As an example, I had a very fatty liver. I didn't know that that was the number one cause of heart disease. So when I started getting into functional medicine, I started writing down the, there were, I think I listened to over a hundred doctors and 20 different symposiums. And there were threads that went throughout all these speeches. One was toxic load. Well, that made sense to me because I was born in Pittsburgh and my parents moved out of there because I had so many allergies from the toxic metals in the air there. So I probably had severe toxic load. So I put that down. I was going to research that. I wasn't eating anything but conventional ultra processed food. I was eating the standard American diet and it was very clear that I needed to be eating organic because I didn't need the poisons that were in regular sprayed um, vegetables and fruits. And I had no idea that all those chemicals I couldn't read or didn't know what they were in processed food were also poisoning my body. So those were the two places that I started. I changed my food right away and stress. I had so much stress because I had been chased by a tiger so much that I had no cortisol left in my body. I had used it all and I was on the border of Addison's disease. So I started taking a yoga class and started to release my stress. To this day, I do stress exercises twice a day, every day at 10 and every day at two, I stop and do a three minute breathing exercise so that I don't go into toxic stress because I'm not going back there. Then I dug into the giant database that they pointed out that's in the sky called ewg.org. And I started looking up every ingredient and every product that I used Hmm. for toxicity. First thing Hmm. I looked up was my face makeup. It was a nine on a 10 point scale. I literally had been poisoning my body through my largest organ, which was my skin. So it took me five years. 
But after five years, I had eliminated thousands of ingredients that were toxic. And I had changed out everything in my life to being a much lesser toxic product. As an example, one of the most toxic things we use is laundry detergent, especially those little pods. Those little yep. pods are so poisonous that if a toddler bites into it, you probably don't have time to get them to emergency. So nice. all of that stuff had to go away. And what I found was a plant enzyme cleaning solution that cleans everything, does my laundry, cleans my counters, cleans my floors. And it's a one on the EWG scale. And while I was busy researching for myself, I also lost all three of my cats. And they had always lived well into their 20s for me. And these three were 13, 15, and 17. And I went, oh, my God, they're living in a toxic soup right along with me. So by using this to clean my floors and my kitchen counters and all of that, I eliminated a big source of toxins for my pets. I clean my toilets with it. So if they drink water from there, heaven forbid, I don't want them to, but they seem to, they don't get poisoned anymore. So everything got switched out. And after five years, I had lost a significant amount of the pain that I had from fibromyalgia. I still had diabetes. I still had the fatty liver, but within the next four years, all of that went away as well because I started exercising. I was taking care of my stress. I started getting seven hours of sleep every night. And the seventh hour is really important because that's when your brain sweeps all the plaque out, which is what will eventually give you dementia. So you need that seven hours of sleep. I started drinking half my body weight in ounces of water because our bodies need to be lubricated and we put filters on all the water systems in the house. So all the water that comes out of my faucets, be it the shower or the kitchen, all of it is filtered. And we have since moved to Arizona and there's arsenic in the water here. So it was really important that we put a full house mm. system on the house here because arsenic is one of the big reasons people get all these diseases or have problems, even if it's not disease oriented, to, but to something else like yeah. what you struggle with. So water becomes very important and that it be clean. I started cooking all my food because that was the only way I could control what I put in my body. That's and I true. became known as the rainbow queen because I studied under somebody who is a PhD who believes in eating all the colors of the rainbow. And believe it or not, each color of fruit and vegetables has different gifts for the body. And something magical happens when they get in the body, they party and they create health. And they can do things like um, yellow are really good for the gut. And the gut is the seat, which I learned from functional yeah. medicine, of our health. And so having a healthy gut is really important. So yellow becomes a crucial color to feed my body to keep my gut healthy. Green is super important for my heart. And so you want to make sure that you're eating and you don't want to just eat one green food. So if you like spinach, that's not going to do it. You need diversity in all of the color families because believe it or not, our gut bacteria, we have good gut bacteria and bad gut bacteria. Well, we have to feed our good ba gut bacteria and yeah. they want to eat different things. Who knew? So you don't want to eat just one green thing. You want to eat all the different green things because some of them will be great for different of your healthy gut bacteria, which is what produces health. Or blue and purple is really good for your brain really good to keep you with brain clarity so that you can do your best work but it also helps you fight cancer and in blue and purple foods there are actually phytonutrients that shoot darts of cancer cells and kill them who wow. knew any of this went on so <laughs> you want to eat them all because you need your whole body to function together as one unit in harmony in balance and i yeah. have discovered that health is balance so if you want to have a healthy brain you have to have a healthy body that supports it so you need to eat all the colors and the best way to do that i try to go to farmers markets in california it was easy 
<laughs> because we grow all the food for the country. But now that I'm in Arizona, I finally found a farm. So we travel an hour and a half to the farmer's market that's out in the country where the huge farm is here that grows all the foods because you want to buy the produce if you can as close to harvest as possible. As example, spinach loses 30% of its goodies within three days. So really? if I'm buying it just harvested, I'm getting more of the goodies into my body to create health. Now, does that mean that you don't go to the grocery store to buy your spinach if you can't go to the farm? Nope. You still go get it at the grocery store because yeah. you're still going to get a lot of goodies. Or even go to Costco or to Walmart where it's been warehoused and it's a little bit further away from the farm because it still has tons of great stuff for your body. But if I can get it close to the farm, I'd rather because I want the big bang when I yeah. eat that food to my health. So it all works together. Not only does it give you more energy, does it heal from the inside out? Does it feed the energy sectors like your battery packs in each one of your cells, which is called mitochondria? You've got to get all that energy into the cells so that you have all the energy to function your body so that you can heal from the inside out. I call it eating from the pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, not popping <laughs> pills from the pharmacy, P-H-A-R-M-A-C-Y. You can actually heal your body if you eat all these foods from the inside out and your body is craving it because ultra processed food gives you very little of what you need to operate on. Not only that, but ultra processed food removes all the fiber. Now, I had no idea how important fiber was, but fiber does all kinds of miraculous things to create magic in your body. Number one, what you're feeding your gut bacteria is actually the fiber from the food. So if you're yeah. eating ultra processed food, your little gut bacteria are starving and that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. But if they're real, they are tied into the phytonutrients, which is a really a brand new area of research. When I started 12 years ago studying this, they thought maybe there were 10,000 of them. They now know there's over 100,000 of them. And they each have different gifts and do different things for your body. And they're in the plant food, not for us, but for the plant. They just happen to be unbelievably good for us. So they're gifts from the universe if we utilize them. So if we don't feed our gut the fiber that's in all those fruits and vegetables, then we don't release all those fiber, phytonutrients. That's first. When they're released, then they travel on the fiber over to something called your vagal nerve, which is also in your gut, which is the super highway of the body. Yes. So they go over to your vagal nerve, which then distributes them all over the body. The first thing it does is send all those nutrients, as well as the vital um, minerals and vitamins, up to your brain. And when they go up to your brain, they turn on all your happy hormones. And there's four of them. There's dopamine, which is pleasure. There's serotonin, which is your feel-good, happy hormone. There's oxytocin, which is what makes you bond to your children or to your pets or to your spouse. And then there's GABA, which causes you anxiety if you don't have enough of it. So mm -hmm. we have a depression problem, and it's because we're eating the standard American diet so that the superhighway doesn't have any way to deliver all these incredible things to turn on our happy hormones. Mm -hmm. And so that becomes incredibly important. Fiber also takes all the toxins that are in our blood and in our lymph system and delivers them to the liver, which is the workhorse of the body, which takes all the toxins out. And then the fiber takes it out our colon so that it can leave our body. If we don't have enough of fiber, then it can't get out because we get mm -hmm. constipated, which yep. means it recirculates them. So they go back around. They go back through our gut, they go back through our blood, only now they're already got toxins in them and they're picking up more toxins. So they're a bigger burden on the liver when they get to the liver. Mm -hmm. So fiber is crucial for all the things that create health in the body. We need that fiber and we need all of the essential nutrients and minerals and vitamins and phytonutrients to create health. And... Um, you need that from all your fruits and vegetables. Now, 
people will tell me I don't like fruits and vegetables. I teach you how to ditch the SAD standard American diet class. And they'll say, I don't want to eat fruits and vegetables. But what happens is fake food has made that fake food. And that's what it is. It's all fake has fake vitamins, has fake minerals, and they're not the same as the real thing because yeah. they don't get together and party because they don't know that they should do that. So if you're eating only ultra-processed food, it's been made to look like, smell like, taste like, sound like uh -huh. the real thing, but there's nothing real about it. It is gray, dead food. And so if that's what we're eating, our body doesn't have, any, have anything to survive on and all our hormones go out of whack. And if all our hormones are out of whack, nothing works the way it's supposed mm. to. So Makes it sense. all becomes really important that you start eating real food. Now, the reason I went down that track is because they dull your taste buds with that food because if you could really taste it, it would be God awful. And so they have put in things that make it taste good. But the only way they can make it taste good is if they dull our taste buds in the first place. So if you go through my class and you detox off the addiction that those fake foods cause, within about five weeks, you get your taste buds back. And I actually have clients who will call me from a farmer's market and go, Cheryl, I get a cucumber. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know where I went, but I just ate a cucumber and it was absolutely fantastic. It was a cucumber. I had no idea cucumber tasted that good. And it's not hard for them to continue eating real fruits and vegetables. Now, I wonder where I went. Can you see me? I cannot see you. Yeah, neither can I. So eating real food becomes mm. crucial to everything in your body. But your brain needs all those nutrients if it's going to do everything it's going to do to give you all the brain power that you need to live your life. Yeah. And we are rebuilding cells all day long. So they used to think that brain cells didn't regenerate, but they were wrong. Brain cells do regenerate. And we regenerate on different cycles. As an example, our gut lining, which is what the food passes through to our blood. So it's a really important system. It replaces every cell within six days. Wow. Our intestine is more corrosive because it has a harder duty to do. And so it replaces all those cells within three days. Now, lungs are once a month and skin is maybe once every two months. Everything's on a different cycle. And if you're diabetic, you know that when you get an A1C test done, they're looking at three months worth of blood cells because mm -hmm. some are brand new, some are in the prime of their life, and some are getting ready to die and go away. And they want to know how much sugar is in those cells. So the question becomes, do you want to be made a dull, gray, ugly food that doesn't give you any of the things you need to have quality building supplies? Or do you want all those bright colors that you're putting in your body that give you premium building supplies to get a body that functions at its ultimate best? And I like to tell the story of the three little pigs. Do you want to be a straw house that when the wolf blows on it, it falls down, which is what happened when we got COVID? This country got hit really hard with COVID because we didn't have immune systems that were strong enough because we hadn't been eating all of the things we needed to eat to have a strong immune system. Or do you want to have a brick house so that when that disease comes along, you can fight it off because you're strong as heck. I just shared with you, I just went through COVID. I went through it in four days. Yeah. That And, and my favor never went over 98. Really? So uh, my immune system, I've been working on it a long time. My immune system's pretty strong now. Oh, uh, I would say so. <laughs> and I want to share, I am now 75. I really? feel better than I did in my 50s. And it's because of my healthy habits. So That's awesome. it's so worth it to do all of this stuff. And for all the people who say, but I don't want to do this or whatever, do it because 
the rewards are so great. My book, that first book I wrote on how I did this is called It Feels Good to Feel Good. And when you start feeling as good as I feel, you're not willing to give it up. No. Because the minute you start to give it up, your body yells at you again. You know, my old in the shoulder, on the face and down on the head. I'm not going back there. It took too long to climb out of that pit. And so I am very protective of my body that I am not going back there. I have a conversation every morning when I get up with myself in the mirror because I don't want to miss it again. First thing I do is I tell myself I love me because I believe that if you love yourself, you all will adopt healthy habits because you're worth it. And then the second question I ask is, how do you feel today, Cheryl? And then I get quiet and I listen you'll be surprised how much your body has to say about your body. It speaks in symptoms. It doesn't speak in language, but it will tell you immediately if you're on the right track and you've been doing the things that you say you're going to do, or if you're not. And the minute I have a little pain or a headache, or I didn't sleep well, or I have brain fog, I know something's wrong and I'm not going back there. So I'm like a little computer that goes through, what did I do yesterday that I am not feeling optimal today? And I fix it right away. Every morning I go through that because I don't want to miss it again. I missed it for too long and I got too sick to go back. Yeah, yeah, you definitely don't want to go back. No, no, you <laughs> don't. So, and it feels, it really does feel good to do this. Yeah. And there is nothing about my life that is the same as it was 12 years ago. Down to the relationship I was in, he refused to change. So he had to go because I knew if I didn't change, I was not going to get well. And being sick and tired and living that life and popping pills was not for me. So we broke up. It was awful. He'd been in my life a long time. But I went looking for someone who would go on a get well journey with me. And I'll be darned, I found him and I married him nine years ago and you met him when we set up the computer. He went on this journey with me and it makes a huge difference if there are two of you because you support yeah. each other. And he likes to cook as much as I do. So we share the cooking. Now, we've now moved to Sedona, Arizona and there are 15 restaurants here that are organic where I can walk in off the street and I can find something to eat. I still cook 90% of my own food, but it's nice to be someplace where there are so many healthy people that if I don't want to cook, there's a big assortment of places that we can go out to eat and get something that will not cause my body to yell at me when I get up in the morning. So that's one of the big advantages of living in this area. Um, but I've traveled all over the United States and I know even where you are, there are organic restaurants. I have gone and eaten at them. So it's, you know, you just, I vet a restaurant before I go out. I actually call and talk to the chef so that I know how he's sourcing what he could feed me. Generally, by the time I choose to go to his restaurant, they come out to meet me because they never <laughs> met anybody who asked so many questions about what they're going to eat in their restaurant. So they come out to shake my hand. But if you vet the restaurant because it's important to you, it's not a bother. And I'm not afraid to ask, I'm not afraid to take vegetables off of every course and have them make my own plate. And I do eat clean meat, by the way. I eat meat that eats what he was put on this planet to eat, which means mm. if it's a cow, he eats grass. Yeah. He eats grass and he's finished with grass. He does not eat GMO corn, which means it's corn that had BT toxin grown up into it, which makes the cow sick. He doesn't want to eat the corn in the first place. That's not what he was put here to eat. And BT toxin does all kinds of terrible things. Now, the reason it's grown into the corn is because when the bug bites it, it blows him up. Sounds kind of cool, right? Well, unfortunately, when it gets in our gut, it blows up all our good gut bacteria too. Yeah. And since our gut is the seat of our health, that's not a good thing. It's the reason all our kids have so many allergies now, because it's creating the allergies. 
It takes all those great vitamins and minerals, which we need to function with, and it cleates them out of our body before it ever gets in our bloodstream. And to make it even worse, it cleates it out of the ground that the plant is growing in. So you don't want to be eating a GMO food and they'll tell you, eh, it's fine. No, it's not. And our government's not going to protect us. So guess what? Mm -mm. You get to protect you. And at first I got really angry. Where the heck was my government that I was finding all these toxins? Well, it occurred to me, I'm an army of one. I can choose what I buy, what I Mm -hmm. eat, what products I use, and I can make choices that make my body happy. And that's what I strongly recommend that everybody out there listening to this does as well. So if you want to have a strong brain, the program is not any different. I want you to move your body. I want you to eat the rainbow. I want you to get those seven hours of sleep every night. I want you to do the breathing exercises. They take three frigging minutes to go through the full thing. And I use the Dr. Andrew Weil 478 breath, which you can look right up on YouTube and do it with him. He's got a whole bunch of different tapes on how he does it. They're all essentially the same, but you can look at him sitting in different positions. He was the first integrative doctor because he went to Harvard to be a doctor, knowing he was never gonna just be a medical doctor. He wanted to marry all of the different alternative holistic lifestyles with conventional medicine. And he started integrative medicine and there are now integrative doctors all over the United States. And it's his breathing exercise that I use. Takes three minutes to do four rounds. That's that's just a moment in time in your day for you to yeah. stay. And stress interrupts every body system in your body. Mm-hmm. So it's really important that you do that. Um, it's part of my routine. And that's another thing that I'm not giving up because I don't want to go back to where I was. And I was lucky that I caught my cortisol level just before it toppled over into Addison's disease because I don't know that I could have come back from that. So I was really lucky. So you want to, you want to drink tons of water that's clean and you never want to drink it out of plastic bottles because plastic bottles are the double whammy with toxins. Not only are they leaching poison into the water and you're paying 2000 times more for that water than if it's coming out your faucet, but there's little microbes of plastic that go into the body that are forever chemicals that get into your body system, which means that once they're in your body, they have no place to go. Wow. And they are obviously also ruining our environment. So you want to be drinking clean filtered water and you want to be drinking it out of stainless steel bottles because Mm. that way you're not getting all that extra plastic and wherever you you can't get rid of all plastic. It's impossible. I still want a grocery store. I bring stuff home in plastic. I still have plastic, but you do the best you can to eliminate it everywhere you can because you get plenty of it even that way. Yeah. And you don't need more. No, (laughs) definitely not. (laughs) I mean, I even eliminated all my pots and pans. I did not want to give up on my Teflon pan. I love the way nothing stuck to it until I read that there were no birds where the DuPont factory was because they were all dead. And then the whole community got cancer because of the poisons in the Teflon. Wow. And it got into their water system. It got everywhere. So I use um, a ceramic pan system where it doesn't leach any poison and I use stainless steel when I cook and I don't use plastic spoons or forks or knives even when I travel I use bamboo everything has been switched out to things that will not add any additional poisons to my body wow it's and you don't do it overnight if anybody (laughs) wants to buy my first book I tell you all the things I switched out And people would call me and go, I can't do this all at once. I'll go bankrupt. Well, you don't have to do it all at once. But remember that everything you eliminate that has toxins in it is one step closer to a healthy body. And when you get 12 years out, like I am now, it is so worth it. Plus, my feet hit the ground in the morning and I'm happy. 
because all my happy hormones are working. And so that in itself is worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I attack my day from a really happy point of view. And I, and I get up early now because I'm bounding with energy, even at 75. And you spread so much happiness on Facebook, too. I see all the posts that you put, and it's really always inspiring stuff. I like, appreciate that. Yeah, I call myself a muse because my idea is that I want to inspire all of you to catch my fever. Yeah. If you see how happy I am and how much energy I have at 75, I want everybody to want that, too, because yeah. it can be yours. It's a choice. I just was listening to somebody talking about, I was. I showed you this new product, which I'll talk about because it's great. Oh, I don't have a camera here. I'll talk about the product that I found. I'm looking for the camera. Um, but he made a comment that if you're sick, if you have cancer or you have an autoimmune disease or you have liver disease or you have heart disease, that was a choice. That really made me stop and think because it's not wrong. And you can choose to get rid of it. They'll tell you that you can't reverse diabetes, but I'm a living example that you can. And my husband has reversed his, so it's not just one of us. They tell you that it's almost impossible to reverse a fatty liver, but that's not true. It took me seven years to get it reversed, but it is a healthy liver now. They'll tell you that you cannot do these things. But you can, and it's being vigilant to stay with the healthy lifestyle until it feels so good, it's not a problem to keep doing it. And then it is just self-perpetuating. And for all of you who have a brain issue because of an injury, this is also the keys to the kingdom to give your brain the support that it could start and it, the cells in the brain replenish more slowly than other parts of the body, but it still can happen. So if you do all of this, you will support your brain to start to heal, to give you the best possible life that you can have again. Awesome. So, Thank you so much for doing that, Cheryl. I really appreciate that. Tell us how we can get your book. Okay. You can get my book on Amazon, and I actually have my own little Cheryl Meyer store, and both my first and my second book are in there. My first book is How I Did It, How I Turned My Health Around. Second book is How Do I Live This Way? Because in the beginning, I was swimming upstream of all my friends who were not living like I was. So it's How Did I Vet a Restaurant? Why Do I Love Farmer's Market? Why do I know all the farmers at my farmer's markets? I get into conversations with them. I want to know what they're doing so that I know that I'm safe. Um, I talk about how to get rid of spiders and bugs in the house without poisons. I talk about how to raise healthy children. 54% of us, including 54% of our children, already have a chronic illness. We are literally robbing our children of their future. So I did an entire section on how to raise healthy children. And people will tell me my kids don't want to eat healthy food. That's probably not true. Your kids don't know how good healthy food tastes because they don't have the taste buds to do it. And if you involve them in it, you'll be surprised what kids will do. I actually had a mom tell me that her mom took her kids for a weekend and was going to serve them processed food. And they said, Grandma, we don't eat that because that makes us <laughs> feel icky. We don't want that stuff. So if you eat with your child, if you take your child grocery shopping, if you have your child help prepare food with you, if you let them make you let them pick out from the healthy foods that are at the grocer, and then you let them make their own healthy lunches. You involve them. I even talk about how to run healthy birthday parties in that chapter. And then I have a whole section on healthy pets because I knew I was going to eventually get new kitties. And these kitties were going to lead a much healthier, happier life because I wasn't going to have them in a toxic soup. So I have two twin gingers now that are leading their best life because I even go into what's in pet food, which is unbelievably disgusting. 
Mm -hmm. and um, what plants you shouldn't have them around and what vaccines do. Vaccines are the same size, whether you have a big dog or a little dog. And so there's something called the titter where you can find out how often you really need to be giving them vaccines. I did all the research. So it's a great place to start because most of us feel the same way about our pets that we feel about ourselves. And we want them to lead healthy, happy lives. And so that's all in my second book. And they're both in my store on Amazon. And then I have a magazine that is 140 pages of health information that is free and a flip book. It ended up being too big for me to print it. But if you go to my website, which is Cheryl M. Health News, the same as me under that's under the picture of me that's not there, dot com. On the first page, it will lead you to the link that will take you right to my magazine. My functional doctor wrote an article. My naturopath wrote an article because I'm still working on puzzle pieces from different people. Somebody who runs a cancer community wrote about the power of community because it's number one. If you surround yourself with other people with healthy habits, it's so much easier to maintain them. And then I talk sure. about why I eat the way I do, how to feed your kids, what I do when I'm going to a conference and I take my own lunch. I make salads in canning jars and that's how I travel. I have figured it, I have a little refrigerator that plugs into the uh, old cigarette lighter in the car that will keep my food cold so that I can eat anywhere. Um, I talk about snacks and what are healthy snacks versus unhealthy snacks. And the one thing I have to tell you is everybody says, I don't wanna be deprived. Well, John and I laugh because when we eat, we eat really well. And the last thing we are is deprived. We just use different ingredients. I don't eat anything with regular sugar because it's poison. And it is as addictive as cocaine. It lights up the same part of the brain. But I do cook with coconut sugar, which is a very low glycemic sugar, adds a little bit of sweet. And so I still make some desserts. I just, I don't want them as much because I have lost my desire for sweet. But I do make them sometimes for company. And I love to have company because they'll eat here and go, whoa, this was a healthy meal. <laughs> that was delicious. You can still make delicious food. You just make it with different ingredients. Yeah. So I teach you all of that between my magazines and my two books. That'll get you on the right road to return to health. And you have the power, so you have to own it. Yeah, you have to want to do it. Yep. It's like yep. Uh, when you click your heels to go to Oz, you have the power <laughs> all along. It's just no one ever told us. Yeah. That's awesome information. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Well, thank you. I love to talk about this. So yeah. I'm thrilled to have any community that wants to hear it because it will change your life. I want everyone to go to her website, buy her book off of Amazon, because it sounds like to me it's something that's going to be very game changing for a lot of people. And Anybody's I am doing, if issues. you go to my page on Facebook, I'm Cheryl.Meyer3. Um, I'm teaching a class on Thursday that I just got certified to teach by the American Brain Council, which will <coughs> probably be especially interesting to your audience. And it is on dementia, but frankly, what it's on is how to have a healthy brain because yeah. that's what their goal is. And so much of it is food oriented. So if you're interested, it's a two hour class. I'm giving it twice this week. I'm giving it on Thursday and then on Sunday. So if you only want to listen to an hour on Thursday and then you want to come for the second hour on Sunday, that's fine too. But the information is crucial. And then this new product, that I was just telling you about is by Numi. It is on my website and it has all of the things that brain research has shown helps you have the most functional brain. And it has taken it down to a nano form, which means that you swish it in your mouth and it goes immediately in your blood and gets delivered immediately to your brain. Wow. And as I told you, I, ha I was befuddled after COVID. It took me three days, and this stuff brought me back my full brain power. That's so amazing. I believe in this stuff. It helps a lot. 
They also make a nanoglutathione, which is the number one antioxidant, which is what fights cancer and autoimmune diseases in your body. And I had tried every delivery system of glutathione known to man, and I finally found one that worked. And it's this nanomolecule that you swish in your mouth and goes from your mouth into your bloodstream and then directly to the mitochondria in your cells. Wow. If you wouldn't mind, send me the links to all that information. I will. And then they will be posted below. So anyone watching this video, you can just look, read the description. And everything that Cheryl's talked about today will be in the description for you to access. And you will sign up to buy it yourself under me. And they did that because somebody's selling bootleg product on Amazon that isn't oh, wow. their product in the bottle that looks the same. So it'll give you a link so that you can then not come to me to get it. You can go direct and get it yourself whenever you need it, which I like. Good. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Yeah, if you if you don't mind, uh, send all that to me. It'll be linked below. Also, just a little quick teaser for uh, you guys that enjoyed this today. Cheryl and I talked before the program today, and we're going to do a cooking segment coming up. Uh, it'll probably be a, little, a few weeks or maybe a month or so, but we'll we'll get together, Cheryl, and and hammer out the details on that. But we're going to do some brain foods that. Um, injury survivors can actually cook themselves. And there are a list of foods that are especially good for the brain. So yeah. I'll find a recipe that will concentrate on that, that we can make together. Yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be a lot of fun. So okay. thank you guys so much for joining us today. The links are in the description and we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for having me. Bye-bye.